Uh, yeah, the uh, trade that had been rumored for about 24 hours, kind of very on the last like five, six hours, what we thought it was in physical review, is complete. Juan Soto has been traded to the Yankees along with Trent Grisham. I strongly believe it is the five names we heard all afternoon involved with the Yankees. That's catcher Kyle Higashioka, who's probably the least important guy in the thing, and four pitchers. Remember, the Padres are losing three pitchers in free agency, starting pitchers in free agency, plus their closer, Josh Hader. They're getting uh, Michael King, who pitched so great out of the rotation in the last month of the season last year. Drew Thorpe, who's one of the bigger Yankee prospects, uh, pitching prospects. Uh, Randy Vasquez and Johnny Brito, who had kind of been up and down pitches last year, start, yeah. relieve, minor leagues. So there's going to be four pitchers, and I would expect that all four of them, at least three, will be on the team to start the season. And I think all four of those guys will pitch for the San Diego Padres in 2024. That is a significant haul of talent to give up. For a player, I know they got Trent Grisham as one of the best defensive center fielders in the game. He hit under 200 the last two seasons for the San Diego Padres. A superstar in Juan Soto's The Big Fish, one year of control. That is a large haul of talent to give up for a guy that you might not keep beyond 2024. There's no doubt, Greg, but I think the thing to remember here is the Yankees just had their worst season in 30 years. They left that season believing that they were a good team that had a bad season, a lot of injury, bad luck. This is what they believed. And yet they hated the narrative that was being formed around them. They're not the Yankees anymore. Well, when you make this trade, you're throwing a lot on the table and saying, you know who we are? We're still the Yankees. We can go in a room, we'll give up what's necessary, and we'll get a great player. On Monday, they'll be in Southern California to try to get Yamamoto. They, but there's a string of teams who are negotiating next week at, with uh, Yashinobu Yamamoto, the great Japanese ace. The Yankees are the leadoff hitters, I believe, next Monday. The offensive guy they wanted is Soto. Yeah. The pitching guy they wanted is Yamamoto. They're 50% of the way back to at least in the offseason being the Yankees and kind of showing up in a room and getting what they want. The outfield alignment is a conversation we had earlier in the day. Is Trent Grisham part of this package to be the starting center fielder of the New York Yankees? I do not believe so. I think Grisham is coming in to be a fourth outfielder and a defensive replacement late in games in center. I think they'll line up with um, Verdugo playing the big part. Left field in Yankee Stadium, very difficult, very big, sun in the day. I think Judge goes back to center field, and Soto, who's not a very good defender, but Yankee Stadium, right field, very small. The short right field porch helps uh, helps him on offense, protects him on defense. I think that's going to be the starting alignment on, on uh, the outfield. And I think Grisham will play defense late in center field, maybe move Soto out of the game and play against some righties. And look, Brian Cashman did say last month, the likelihood is every year we've had John Carlos Stanton, there's been an injury. If that were to happen again, Soto is likely to become the DH and Grisham will go to center field. I don't think it will be a problem. I think everyone will get plenty of time. That's how the baseball season works. And one of the key aspects of, the, of what the Yankees have done in the last 48 hours, Greg, is there have been questions about durability. You know who's batted over 600 times in each of the last three seasons? Verdugo and Soto. Grisham has batted over 500 times in each of the last three mm. seasons. You know what they all are? They're all left-handed. The Yankees had the second fewest plate appearances by lefty hitters last season. They've been in the bottom 10 for six years. The Yankees, Babe Ruth's team, the, the short right field porch. Yeah. They're trying to be the Yankees again. And this is an example of it.